What is going on, guys? It's your boy Trey, Justin, and Christian back with the absolute banger of a experiment. Cars are used on a daily basis, but how many of you really know what determines how fast the car is? It's not only about how much horsepower or torque a vehicle has, but also outside variables such as wind resistance, aerodynamics, and friction on the tires as the car cruises down the road. Aerodynamics means studying how air or gas travels around something moving through it. These right here are going to help us demonstrate all of the different variables while allowing you to build your own custom car. That was one example of one of the several cars you will be able to build with the Legos provided. Different sized brakes, tires, and axles will affect the speed and effectiveness of your car. Example of a car that has been built for speed with its low profile and sleek frame. This boiler helps redirect airflow and allows the car to cut through the air much easier. Dang, that was fast. The redirection of the wind really helped out the car down the speedway. This is why NASCAR and F1 cars have such sleek and light frames, often with pretty prominent spoilers in the back and often cars will have small pop-out spoilers on the roof that keep the car down by pushing wind down through the cabin. All of this is examples of how automotive engineering has progressed from heavy and clunky cars of the past to the asphalt burners that we love today. Weight is what holds your car to the ground, but also slows it down as more friction is transferred between the tires and the floor, as well as the friction between the air molecules and the car on the way down the ramp. Finding a good way is extremely important to maximize the speed of your car. Too heavy and your car will be too slow, too light and your car won't have control down the ramp and could even fly off the course. The body of your car in this case is going to be the main variable attributing to weight. In the case of a real car, the chassis would hold a majority of the weight due to its housing of all the strong mechanical pieces. So do your best to find the perfect weight ratio that matches the body and tires of your build. We will now be showing some trials and errors of us racing our cars.
Since at home, all you're going to need is a few simple items. For one, you will need a smooth surface to use as your ramp. You could use anything, of course, with your print permission first. We don't need any lawsuits now, do we? We use the whiteboard our lovely teacher was kind enough to let us borrow. Some other options would be a small table, a cardboard box, and if you're lucky enough to have a six foot whiteboard like us. Next thing you'll need is some tape and markers to create lanes on your raceway. The lanes should flow down the track evenly to keep the races fair. No one likes a cheater. The amount of lanes is completely up to you. Just a tip, lay down nice and even strips of tape from top to bottom, trace that lane with the color of your choice, then lift the tape to reveal your perfectly even track. If you want to get real crazy, add a few stickers for some pizzazz. And lastly, you're going to need some Legos, of course. We found that the, the thicker six dotted bricks were best for making the base of the cars and giving them a good center of gravity. The thinner but longer bricks were great to have to give the car a lighter top side to keep it from moving fast at the whole way down. If you find that your car just can't seem to go straight or doesn't want to go down the ramp at all, go ahead and give those wheels a good spin a few times before you put it down on the track. This will loosen up the axles allowing the tires to spin more freely even giving you a small speed boost, but you didn't give that for me. <laughs> this project, while simple in practice, shows you the ways that weight and aerodynamics play a huge role in determining the outcome of where your car ends up and how fast it ends there. Our project would like to introduce participants to automotive engineering, which is a branch of mechanical engineering concerned with the development of cars, trucks, motorcycles, and other motor vehicles. Automotive engineers design and test many subsystems or components that comprise a motorized vehicle. Our group would like to show how fun and exciting engineering could be and chose to base our project around this. We believe that making participants actively participate in automotive engineering will give them a spark of inspiration and motivate them to join the STEM pathway. Our activity is going to allow these participants to do all of this while they're still having a good time and having fun. These young engineers will have that seed planted in them after participating and by the time they're in high school, they will have already had an interest in the STEM careers. Our activity is going to allow these participants to do all of this while they're still having a good time and having fun. These young engineers will have that seed planted in them after participating in our activity and by the time they're in high school they will have had an interest in the STEM careers. We would love to have more people who are also interested in STEM. Thanks for watching.